How's it going everyone? NDSean45 coming at you. I know most of you aren't used to seeing a video from me so early in the week, but with this week being Thanksgiving and knowing that we're all going to be busy in the next couple of days, uh, traveling and getting to get together with our families, I thought I would just get this video done and over with now before we all get way too busy. So with that said, on to the preview. Now this week, the Irish uh, conclude the 2013 regular season by taking a trip out to Palo Alto to take on our longtime rivals, the Stanford Cardinal. Now, of course, all of us Irish fans remember last year in South Bend, that miraculous moment. It's overtime, fourth, fourth and goal for the Cardinal, and we make the big goal line stand at the end to, to get the victory over Stanford and continue to make our run at the national championship game. Now, even to this day, uh, a whole year later, Cardinal fans still argue that decision made at the end. Um, you know, and, and I, being a, a man who, you know, is a within, who's, who's a, a reasonable person and um, giving uh, the benefit of the doubt, they probably do have something to argue. I mean, really, that when you go back and watch that tape, uh, it could have gone either way. I mean, was Stefan Taylor in the end zone? Was he actually not down? I mean, it, it's very possible, but the fact is, it was inconclusive. You couldn't really tell. But, but regardless, it'll, 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 that'll eventually go down as one of the biggest stops in Notre Dame history and one of the biggest wins, too. So, being honest, guys, that kind of scares me a little bit for this week because that means that the Cardinal have nothing but revenge on their minds for this game. And just breaking down the Cardinal a little bit, this is a really solid football team that's been playing good football all season. They're 9-2 and two on the year, just a couple of hiccups along the way. Um, I know they got upset by USC, and I forget who their other loss was to. But um, this is a team that knows how to play some football. But just breaking down the Cardinal a little bit, they're led by quarterback Kevin Hogan, who has been just as good as uh, any quarterback out there this year. Uh, he's been very solid, very efficient in the passing game, uh, com has completed 60% of his passes, uh, about 2,300 yards or so, and 16 touchdowns. I mean, that is incredible. You know, very solid uh, play by the quarterback right there. Leading the way on the ground is um, uh, Tyler Gaffney. Uh, he's on the verge of uh, 1,300 yards, and I'm pretty sure he'll do that this Saturday. I think he's four yards short, but he has 16 touchdowns, and you know he's been explo uh, explosive in the running game for Stanford. And then you got Ty Montgomery leading the way on uh, with the receiving core. So when you look at the Stanford roster, there's firepower all across the board, and a lot of weapons that need to be shut down. Um, you know. There really isn't much to be said about this game. I mean, we just gotta we gotta find a way to stop them. And I know, of course, the critics they're already projecting this one to be a blowout with Stanford coming out on top. Well, I mean, I can't you can't really blame them for thinking that because we've uh, we've had a few stumbles this year. We've been inconsistent at times, and we're also kind of still decimated by injury at this point in the season. So part of me can't really blame them, but at the same time, I wouldn't underestimate this Irish this Irish team either because. This is a team that has been able to beat some quality opponents this year, some top, some very tough uh, top opponents in the in the country, and we have the talent to get it done. But is it going to be easy? Absolutely not. And you guys know me. I mean, I'm never going to go against the Irish. I'm always going to be in their corner. I'm always going to pick them, of course, naturally. But uh, it's just like like I said before. What is the point of making videos about your team if you're going to pick them to lose? I mean, I just don't see any any rationale behind that. I mean, even, you know, like the like it says in the fight song, what though the odds be great or small? I mean, you got to stick by your team. But, anyway, this is how I see this game going down. Stanford's either going to win it big, or we're, but if we're going to win it, it's going to be close. Because if we end up getting the victory in this one, it is not going to be in blowout fashion. But if we want to win this game, this is what's got to happen. And a lot of it is what I've been saying all season long, is just the fundamental stuff. We've got to protect the football, win that turnover battle. Um, it's hurt us plenty of times this season where we've cost ourselves with, with turnovers, whether they be early or late in the game. And we can't have that happen. You know, we've got to be as efficient and effective as possible. Protect that football, no interceptions by Tommy Reese, none of that. He's got to play the game of his life. And... You know, this would be a great opportunity for him to really just end things with a bang, as far as regular season games go, that is, because we still have the bowl game after this. 
So you got to be effective on offense. Number two, we have got to establish a running game. Somehow we've got to find a way. Stand, that Stanford defense, they only allow, I believe, on average, 90 rushing yards a game. That is phenomenal. I mean, I, I hate giving the opponent credit, but they are good at stopping the run. So somehow we have to establish a running game, whether that's going through them or around them. It, I'm most pref preferably around them because you can't really go through this defense. I mean, they are that good. Um, in the air, I think that's definitely where we could have a lot of success. Uh, but still, though, you got to establish that running game. And the third, the third key factor, uh, if, the, if the Irish want to get the victory against Stanford, well, it's not really strategy, but, you know, as I mentioned before, we are pretty uh, depleted with injuries. But all I can say is the guys who are getting their chance to play right now, play the game of your lives. And that's, I know that's pretty basic, but that's all it needs to be said, is anyone who's filling in for a starter, play your hearts out and just let it all hang out on the line. And that's what we get, that's what we got to do in general. You know, Stanford, regardless of what happens in this game, they're still playing for a berth in the Rose Bowl because they've already clinched a spot in the Pac-12 championship game. Us, as I've said for like the last uh, couple videos now, we've known that our BCS hopes are done. And it, regardless of what happens for us, it's it's a uh, we're out of the BCS. We're going to a small bowl. Um uh, I've heard Pinstripe, I've heard Heart of Dallas Bowl. At this point, it's all still up in the air. But we already know our fate, so why not go out with a bang? And we, Because we have the opportunity to say to the college football world, hey, you know what, our BCS hopes are done, but we, but we still have the firepower to show that we can beat top quality opponents and top 10 teams. So we're not, even, though, even though we're out of it this year, we're not going away. So that's the message that we have a chance to send. But... Again, as I said before, it's not going to be easy, and we've just got to f somehow find a way to get it done. So um, I don't really have a score projection in this one for you, but I think I pretty much summed it up. If if uh, Stanford wins, it's going to be if Stanford is either going to win big or Notre Dame is going to win close. That's how it's going to go. So with that said, guys, go Irish, beat Cardinal. <laughs>